Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jordi LaForge from Reading Rainbow, and I'm here today to take a look at the Mobile Suit Gundam Character, Character Encyclopedia from 2009. In case you haven't seen it, I've previously talked about the uh, Gunpla catalog from 2010 and the Mobile Suit Illustrated also from 2009. So you can sort of think of these two as being a combination. In order of usefulness, of course, as a collector, this is going to have every plastic model ever made. This is going to have every mobile suit and variation ever made in color and black and white throughout the book. And this one, as a Gundam fan, you may really enjoy it, but as a collector, I don't really know how necessary it is. But anyway, this is going to have a list of every character ever to a ridiculous amount of detail from all of the Gundam animated series. You can see that the price here is 3,400 Japanese yen before tax. And here's the official name of the book. So a pretty cool shot of Char on the cover. And when you crack this open, of course, they can't forget Amuro too. Uh, inside, you're going to get a whole bunch. Of course, you're going to get the main series. It's going to go through them all mostly in order there. And then look at how many seed things you're going to get. So you're going to get the seed MSV, seed X astray, CE 73 Delta astray, etc. Igloo, 00, 00, P, 00, F, 00, V, and UC from Unicorn, including a whole bunch of stuff from games, including Blue Destiny, Lost War Chronicles, uh, G Generation, Mono Eye Gundams, etc. So you're going to get more than the anime, but you're not going to get. Um, whereas the Mobile Suit Illustrated gave you every series ever, this is only going to have characters, I guess, that they have recent character designs, which is why they'd be focusing on Astray and Double O, etc. So to start at the beginning, you're going to have the name of the series written up here, and of course you're going to have a picture of all of the main characters in color for the first chunk of pages, but you're only going to get about 100 pages in color here. So you've got the name written Amuro Ray in English and in Japanese, and then it's going to show off usually a picture of their normal suits if they have one, Bright Noah, etc. And as you flip through here, you'll see that the pattern doesn't really change, but as depending on the importance of the character, of course, you're going to get Oh, Kess, most annoying character ever. Anyway, things like that. So people like Resin Schneider, etc., are going to get pretty small panels in the color section. Here's an example from Turn A with Laura Laura. And then you're going to have Diana Sorel, Kihail Haim, and then you're going to have the Militia, etc., and a whole bunch of other characters. But some pretty major characters are just getting some pretty small pictures here. But when you move to the back section, to the black and white stuff, you're going to get, when you look at turn A, first it's broken down by their, gr their groups. So here we're going to have the Moon Race and the Militia. Then you're going to have pictures of Laura Laura. And if you're into the animation at all, and I like collecting cells, which you may have seen in some of my videos, but you're going to get a lot more pictures of the character instead of just that color splash page. And you're also going to get some information down below, but a whole bunch of different shots them in a variety of different clothes that they wore throughout the series, normal suits at different angles, the helmets, etc., the accessories they have, them in their underwear. Then moving on, you're going to have a whole bunch of other pictures of all of the people, including Laura, even in things, Lauren, that he was just doing for one episode, you're going to get a picture of them more often than not. There's Laura Laura, so three pages of him, and then Sochie Haim, who had a very small picture back in the color section, you're going to get something that's a lot more fitting for a character of her stature. Towards the back of the book, of course, you're going to have some of the lovely ladies from Double uh, O, including Sumeragi. And then you're going to have Christina, and then Wang Lu Mei, etc. But anyway, they don't have as many pictures for some of these newer characters as I expected. But then again, who can ever forget this guy? Even though they were only animated for about five minutes, it is pretty cool to see the Astray crew in there, including the Professor and Kisato, etc. But something that you don't necessarily need to have, but it's a nice bonus that they did throw in. Although I wonder how they, why they chose which series to put in, because there's a lot of other manga, etc. that doesn't even get mentioned here. Now this is going to be a little bit annoying if you can't read it, of course, but when you see the name of the movie or the series up there, and then you're going to have the Londo Bell unit, but this is Chen Agi, so Amuro's girlfriend from the movie. But it's going to go through and you're going to be able to see the fate of the characters written down there. So after she fights with Kess, of course, then she's going to be killed by Hathaway, etc. like that. So it's sort of cool that you can go scan through this and find out their fates if you haven't already, including... So just to wrap up, over here you've got all the mobile suits if you're crazy about them, and if you're crazy about the anime and all the characters, I do recommend picking up this character encyclopedia, even if you just like looking at the line art, and 
But there are a few disappointing things, like the fact it's only got a hundred pages in color, etc. But because it does have the English and the Japanese names written down, you can pull a lot of information out from it, but don't expect to be reading through and finding too many interesting facts that you don't already know. So with its pretty hefty high, uh, price tag, unless you're crazy about Gundam and you want to build up a nice little collection on your bookshelf, you don't necessarily have to pick that up, but I would recommend picking up this and of course, the Gunpla Bible. As always everybody, Robert184, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of these books, the video itself, and anything you want down below. Like if you do, don't if you don't, and subscribe if you haven't already. Anyway, see you next time with more reviews, this time of models. Thanks for watching. So what was the fate of Amaro Ray after the movie? There it is.